My dear Lagosians, our enemy is not, they are not our neighbors or our visitors or fellow Lagosians. Regardless of their diverse tongues, our common enemy is violence, insecurity, poverty, stagnation, corruption, and underdevelopment. And the same people responsible for all the things I've listed weaponize poverty and ethnicity to distract us from their evil endeavors and diabolical activities. We will never have free and fair elections under a single presidency because we can see by their, by their antecedents, you can predict what is to come. Instead, we'll have a military type one party system that seeks to disenfranchise and suppress people as opposed to engaging the people, sending their mandates, accounting to, for the stewardship of whatever positions that they had. We've seen it happen in presidential at a, to a lesser extent, and we saw their, their entire vision for legal state on Saturday. They have tried to destroy years of delicately balanced ethnic relations, years of intermarriage and friendships, years of commerce, and years of building Lagos into the economic juggernaut that it is. I call on the silent majority, the decent and cultured Lagosians, to speak up and resisting fear that the ruling party tried to put in them. They came out in spite of all of that and they showed remarkable courage. And I want to thank Lagos for that. Our message from when we first started and still till today, both His Excellency Peter Obi and myself, has always been about empathy, love, good governance that is both open and accountable. Yesterday I spent my day visiting victims of Saturday state-backed terrorism and violence from Abuleado to Surulere to Apapa to Ikeja. I met with young men and women that had bullets lodged in their chin, in their face. Just as about to come and take a seat here, I was told that one of our polling agents from K1 in Trade Fair just passed away. I met, I saw people with lacerations cut all over their body. Young men with fractured legs that we had to pay over 800,000 for their for their surgery. And I want to take this moment to reach out to all of these people that in spite of all the attempts to put fear in them, they stood against it and came out in hope and courage. That I am with you. We are with you. Myself, my deputy governor, my deputy governor, the party. We are together, we are with you, we are by your side. And it is not just lip service. Today we launched the platform called grvcares2023.com. Please, anyone that has been a victim of electoral violence, log onto this website, upload evidence of this violence, upload your hospital bills, Upload a police report if you have it. 